Action. Yep. Are we on? Part yeah. two of uh, this so. afternoon's of Groovy Singer-Songwriter uh, interviews. And uh, we have Jeff X in the house. Jeff. Hello. Woo! 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 And uh, the one thing I did, you had a banjo player. Yes. On, uh, on your album. Ed Willie. You can tell me about it. Well, it was more part of the song because I write, I write music for the actual song that I'm working on. You know what I mean? So I wanted... The song called Moonshine. Yeah. You gotta have a banjo in a song called Moonshine. <laughs> it makes sense to me. Listen, where were you born? Lang City. You were born in Lang City? Yeah. Lang City Hospital? Yeah. No, man. Yeah. Same here. Right Wait. on. Yeah. They, now well, some kind of weird I was on the beach and they pulled me into the hospital. <laughs> 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 so when you song write, I mean, do you like? Do you get a catchphrase, or uh, or you just get a rhythm? I mean, what's your songwriting? Uh, uh, like? My thing is, I don't have like a formula on purpose because I don't want any two songs to sound the same. Awesome. Like, like I don't want someone to think they got my CD because they like the particular song, mm -hmm. and now the whole rest of the CD sounds like that same song. You know, to me that that's terrible. So I, I so I, like I'll make a song off of an idea, uh, some lyrics that pop into my head. I'll make a song uh, or a melody, or I'll get like chords that I like or a beat because you know, I play drums and guitar and all that. So. Yeah, I know, and um, a lot of your songwriting is, is again between these two albums are, are totally one eighty. You can just tell that you didn't go down the same path, right? You know, twice, and, and that's kind of cool. There's a reason for it. It's, uh, when I finished my first CD, it's your first one. So, of course, you're like, oh, it's got to be great. You know, I've got to do all this stuff and make it really cool. So, I'm, I'm trying, you know, do all that. And, you know, I like it a lot. But a lot of people afterwards, you get feedback. And I ask people, you know, how they like it and whatnot. And they were like, well, we like you. We like this CD. But when we see you live, there's just like, you have a lot more coming through you know and i said yeah especially like funny stuff so i said yeah i gotta lighten up not be so serious on my next cd so i did that with the full injectors these awesome guys i know yeah we put the band together i wrote all the songs and uh i let them do their thing because they're good musicians awesome and uh only only a couple times i had to stop them because i said like, that doesn't work for what i'm trying to say in this song you know mm -hmm. what i mean and then they would just switch up to something else and it was fine so, uh, you know, that one came out a lot different. I wanted something groovier. Definitely, yeah, yeah. it worked. So, yeah, it, it's definitely... Listen, so you got another one in you? you, you oh, on? yeah, yeah. I wish I had time to just keep making them and making them and making them, but you got to pay the bills and work and all that stuff. Yeah, so. but you have the ability to do it all your own right, right in the house, don't I you? Know. Well, sometimes it's a blessing and a curse, you know? You, yeah, you could do, I understand. You could do I, more, I but understand. it takes more time to do more. All right. And the time is the factor, unfortunately. Well, I just interviewed Matt Umbersall, and he has one of the favorite questions. If you could play any venue in this entire world before you are to uh, oh, pass out, what venue would you like to play? Well, we'd have to go back in time a little bit. No, no, back in time. Oh, I'm on. talking now. Oh, all right. Back in time. Where would you like to play? The Open JFK Stadium. Yes. Used to be in Philly. That was awesome. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Yeah. I've been in a couple of them, but why would you want to play there? Or just like... Wow. So I like the like like today. I like the outside gigs. And mm -hmm. Yeah, man, you're gonna sound good out there, man. Cool. I can't wait. And if anybody's within at least a, a half an hour, maybe an hour drive from now, Come you want to check them out. It, the, the stage is set up. The the outside area is ready, and just your your live music wafting, wafting. Wow, well, that's a word throughout the air. He checks with like a new song. Wafting, wafting, wafting. <laughs> Wait till you hear how he says that around. And you can't ignore it, right? No, you can't. Because we just got we're, we're, Thank you so much for doing this, and uh, I can't wait to get Yeah, man, uh, it's going to be a good show. So anybody out there, like I said, uh, is watching this, come on down, and you can come listen to down. the wafting. Yes. The, today's word is wafting. wafting. If you say wafting. that, no, incorporate that at I least once that. in the song. Absolutely. If you could just go oh, yeah. once wafting. Sure. It would make my day. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Jeff X here. Thank you.